Welcome to the Shit Slinky Made Me Watch. I'm your host, KC. Here tonight with another shitty review. Now, my good friend Slinky, he has recommended some wonderful films. He really has. And then, we have House of the Dead, Part 2. Released in 2005. Now, um, let me give you a little analogy, if you will. Picture some nice, juicy bacon wrapped around a turd. On the outside, looks like it might be alright. But then as soon as you bite into it, it's still shit. Got a group of uh, army guys and a few medical people, you know, a little medical team that get sent to a college to try to uh, get some blood from a first generation zombie to create a antidote to uh, reverse the virus of, you know, bring the zombies back to being human again. So it, it's pretty cool you know, what they're trying to do. Uh, the movie opens up at a sorority house. A group of guys go in with some uh, water guns filled with light beer and just soaking all these uh, girls down. They're all wearing white tees. So you get a couple of nipple shots. You know, that was kind of nice. There's a girl upstairs getting banged out, and she's got some stupendous titties. Uh, got a couple couple uh, honorable mentions, if you will. Some really good actors in this movie. Sid Haig, the legend himself, he's playing a uh, professor. And he's created this uh, serum to bring people back to life. So, uh, and it, it works. So, yeah, that was, uh, it was nice seeing him. Uh, you got Rachel from Halloween. Ellie Cornell, no, Halloween 4 and 5, part 5. Uh, arguably the worst Halloween in the series other than Resurrection, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But, you know, decent acting. I mean, the acting wasn't terrible. Uh, we got some mutated third generation zombies that have like developed these fangs type things where they're able to chew through armor. So that was, I don't really see the whole point in that, in that end, but whatever, you know, they did. We have uh, lines like John can't come to the phone right now. He's dead. We got zombie titties. And then with those same zombie titties, one of the army guys decides he's going to hold this dead zombie up and take a selfie. Just so tasteless and not classy at all. We have uh, lines like reload when you're in the middle of shooting zombies. I get it. It's from a game. But just, it's stupid. Who's going to yell out reload in the middle of trying to save their lives? It just doesn't make any sense at all. You got zombie football players. Once again, another dumb, cheesy moment in the movie This. Football players out there running around that are zombies. It just didn't make any sense. And you got the zombie guts camo. Guy rubs all over himself to be able to walk through a horde of zombies. It was nasty, but I can understand why it was done, but just disgusting. <laughs> and also one thing, well, not just one thing, but a big thing that I noticed that, uh, I don't know how they overlooked this, but uh, one of the main guys... He gets zombie blood into his mouth and somehow does not turn. Which doesn't really make any sense because in the movie, I mean, if you get bit, you turn. You get like scratched a little bit, you're going to turn into a zombie. One guy gets bit by a mosquito and slowly turns into a zombie. So getting blood in your mouth, I think, should definitely turn you into a zombie. So that's something that I wish they would have maybe changed just a little bit because it just didn't make any sense. Uh, for this movie, that's not something I could ever recommend. But it's definitely worth something to check out at least once. Maybe like a one and done type thing. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and join our Facebook group, Horror After Midnight, so you can get your votes in for next week's episode. Stay safe out there. And as always, stay classy, folks. <laughs>